Good morning, everyone. How are you doing today? Great, perfect. It is a, it's an honor and privilege to welcome you today to the event where Executive Constantine and members of the King County Council will present a signing ceremony to establish the King County Immigrant and Refugee Commission. Yay. It's very, it's very exciting to see everyone united here. Uh, my name is Samait Mill, and I work at Mount Baker Housing Association, and I also organize with the Coalition of Immigrant Refugees and Communities of Color, and I'm a part of the Im King County Immigrant Refugee Task Force. Uh, there are 13 of us. Can I ask the task force members to stand up, please? Ashley. And please applaud for their work. They've done a great job. I'm gonna take this moment to share a little personal story with you uh, and why this commission is important to me and my community. Um, just last night, I was notified of a DV situation in, in Tukwila. Two women of color felt they were not taken seriously and their voices were devalued. We talked about the situation and the conversation culminated to the point of, quote, I don't have citizenship. If we go to court, it can get dangerous and scary, end quote. So to me, this is an example of why the commission is very important, especially under today's anti-immigrant and refugee rhetoric. Even people who are actually legally living here in King County are still feeling afraid to seek services and assistance. So my hope is that we can unify to protect and serve everyone who lives in King County, regardless of their status, of their country of origin. And through this commission, people can feel like they have a space that they feel supported and listened to. So now I'm going to turn it over to Lola, our colleague, and she's going to talk about the work that the task force has done. Thank you. Good afternoon. My name is Lola Zakharova, and I'm an immigrant from Uzbekistan. I was a member of the King County Immigrants and Refugee Task Force since 2015 through 2017, and it is my honor and pleasure uh, to be here on this uh, Wonderful day. So um, I just wanted to talk a little bit about the work that the commission, that the task force has done uh, to make the commission a reality. Um, we have interviewed about 500 community members, gathering people's feedback, listening to their fears, listening to their ideas. Uh, we had uh, about 25 uh, community meetings with uh, immigrants and refugee community all over King County and an unincorporated King County. Thirteen of us has served for two years and we are really, really excited to see this solution to move forward and implement the community feedback that we have received. Why is the commission important, you will ask? Well, we envision the commission to be the bridge between the government and the Immigrants and Refugee Commission in King County. We also want it to be the hub that will empower our immigrants and refugees and give them the voice and make the voiceless people to be heard. Um, as an immigrant, I often talk to people and I hear that uh, people sometimes just don't know how to um, make their voices heard with the government. They just don't know where to go and what to do. So our hope is that this commission will serve as the critical body that is so needed in, in these times. Um, thank you very much. And with that, I would like to um, invite uh, for the remarks the, the man who has earned the trust and respect of the immigrants and refugee community, King County Executive Dow Constantine. Thank you, Lola. Thank you. Everyone, good morning. Good morning. Welcome to beautiful Columbia City. Uh, I am King County Executive Dow Constantine. In a few minutes, uh, or a few more minutes, if you've seen the agenda, there are several of us speaking. Uh, I am really looking forward to signing the ceremonial legislation creating the King County Immigrant and Refugee Commission, a permanent body. a permanent body to uphold our promise as a welcoming community. Uh, the 13-member commission will, as Lola said, serve as a hub for organizations that connect immigrant and refugee communities, aligning their work 
with government to maximize our impact in improving the lives of our newest residents. I'm honored to be joined here this morning by members of the task force. Thank you for your service, your hard work. Yes, thank you. Your hard work informed the historic legislation we're celebrating today, and I appreciate the expertise and the insights that you have provided building a strong foundation for this new commission. Uh, you know, as an aside, isn't it nice to be here today to be able to celebrate a positive development in our community? I mean, for the past year or more, it seems that every time many of us in this room come together, it is to stand up against a hostile federal government. And we have stood strong. We've launched a partnership to protect those in King County whose health, whose safety, whose human rights have been put at risk. Just yesterday, the King County Council approved legislation that will put King County in the nation's forefront in protecting the safety and civil rights of immigrants. Thank you, County Council. That legislation will prohibit county funds and resources from being used for federal immigration enforcement. It will require ICE to get a federal warrant to access non-publicly accessible parts of King County's property, that's a judicial warrant, and ensure that immigrants in custody know their rights. I am proud of the work we've done together, but our commitment as a welcoming community means even more than protecting the rights of those who come here seeking freedom and opportunity. We do genuinely aspire for more. Our shared goal is to help everyone who comes here to build a better life, to have the opportunity to thrive, to participate in civic organizations and government, have a voice in the institutions that shape our lives, have access to good paying jobs and to housing and to education and transportation and a fair justice system and to help shape the future of this region just as many of our ancestors did when they arrived here. We work together. We work together to remove barriers, not just out of a sense of humanity, though that is certainly a motivation of our work. We do so now because we know our own history that immigrants and refugees bring extraordinary skills and vigor to our region. They spark innovation. They fuel our economy. They make our communities more dynamic, more vibrant places to live. Immigrants and refugees have greatly contributed to the remarkable prosperity that we see all around us now in central Puget Sound and the Pacific Northwest. And we are going to do everything we can to ensure that that vigor, that energy continues to come to our shores for many, many decades to come. Thank you and congratulations. And, it, and it's now my pleasure to uh, introduce a uh, council member with whom I have worked now for the better part of three decades. Uh, he is a lifelong champion of civil rights, of the rights of those who've been excluded, and he is uh, the dean of and the conscience of the King County Council. Please welcome council member Larry Gossett. <laughs> I was just laughing because uh, the county executive just said that he and I have been uh, knowing each other and working together for three decades. And I was reminiscing back, he and I were 30 years ago, about 10 years old. So we were, we were on the same West Seattle Little League baseball team, if, if y'all will believe that. Um, I want to draw your attention to this sign over here because I think it's extremely appropriate for why it is that we're gathered here on this afternoon. All are welcome here. Uh, if you reflect on the Statue of Liberty in the harbors of New York City, um, 
that has the writing that, you know, give us your poor, your huddled masses, your homeless, uh, and those who are striving to be free. Uh, but right now, the uh, titular head of the United States of America, uh, the 45th president, uh, has been trying his best to make sure that immigrants coming to this land, particularly those of color, are not welcome. When this immigrant uh, was accused, listen to my language, of killing a, uh, uh, a white woman in California in the Bay Area, he gets on TV and said, oh, we got to get rid of these immigrants because they're all murderers. And then we don't hear very much about what happened with this particular person who allegedly shot her. But when his trial does take place, we find out that he uh, is found innocent by an all-white jury uh, because it was proven by his lawyers that the gun went off. It was accidental. The American public would never hear that. But here in King County, we need, we mean that we are, are going to welcome, that we're going to attract immigrants and refugees, and that we're going to uh, treat them well. In closing, I'd like to just mention a measure uh, that we passed on yesterday afternoon at the Martin Luther King uh, Junior County Council. And that's a, a measure that a couple other speakers have already alluded to, and it's the strongest ordinance in our country in protecting immigrant and refugees' uh, rights uh, in our community, particularly those that are most disadvantaged, those that are homeless, those who are, are being arrested on our streets. We made it crystal clear that ICE or no other federal uh, agency can just walk up on people in King County Jail getting services from King County government and think that they automatically are gonna take our newest residents away. If they try from this day forward, they are gonna have trouble and they're gonna be disciplined and they're gonna be held accountable for by all the two million people that live here. And that's why we're so proud that uh, uh, our president, President Trump, uh, has identified our county as the uh, premier sanctuary uh, <laughs> county in the country. He thinks it's horrible. We think it's great. Without further ado, without further ado, I would like, and I'm pleased I have the honor of introducing to you my colleague, Rod Dembowski, who has been a co-sponsor of the legislation yesterday and been a stalwart fighter uh, for the rights of all people here in King County. Thank you. Thank, thank you very much, Councilmember Gossett and County Executive Constantine, and our, we'll see, soon uh, hear shortly from our County Council Chair, Joe McDermott. Thank you very much for the warm welcome into the community. It is great and right to be here today because we're celebrating a piece of legislation that came from the community. And it came from the community starting a couple years ago, former State Representative Velma Valoria, who I don't think could join us today, but invited me and others to a meeting at the Filipino Community Center and uh, with community members. And they were talking about the need uh, for this kind of organization, this kind of commission. And so we went to work down at the County Council, Council Member Gossett, I and others, uh, to start the process. And I have to tell you, I was a little bit eager. I said, why don't we just form the commission and I'm very fortunate to have a terrific staffer, Christina Logsdon, who's the boss. Raise your hand, Christina, right here. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, she worked with Cindy Domingo, who's Councilmember Gossett's chief of staff. And they said, you know, this is, has to be about the community and has to come from the community. And so we did the task force. And the task force spent the time talking about the meetings in the community. Incredible process to develop the commission uh, that the executive is going to launch today with his signature. And uh, so it's a celebration really of you, and we're honored to be here to celebrate with you um, this really historic moment for King County. When I think about immigration and refugees, I think about my great-grandfather, Simon Joseph Dembowski. He came from Poznan, Poland in about 1860. 
and he was fleeing a part of the world that at that time uh, suffered from war and economic distress and came to America where he worked as a barber and a stonemason and began to lift up the American dream. And I look at the faces in the room today and I know that you're here uh, and your predecessor here doing the same thing. And King County government works for you. We are your government. And this commission that we're forming today is just a tool to help us better connect and be more responsive and be more connected to the new and changing needs of King County. And the statistics really talk about the work we've got to do. More than one in five county residents identifies as foreign born. Tw more than 20%, that's a big number. That's out of 2.1 million people or so, uh, that's over 400,000 folks. I shouldn't do math on TV, should I doubt? <laughs> but it's a lot of folks. And so uh, we are working to be a responsive government and working with the community in partnership. One of our great leaders who uh, helps us do that, I want to recognize her because she's been a tremendous champion. That's our elections director, Julie Wise. And she is here today. Would you give her a warm welcome? <laughs> Director Wise, as you know in this room, has come into the community and been a leader on starting our voter education fund where we grant dollars to the community to help lift folks up, get them registered, help them engage. She's been a leader on language translation where we've added uh, Spanish and Korean and have a process to add additional languages going forward to help connect folks to the community. Another tremendous leader I want to take a moment to welcome is Councilmember from the 4th District, Councilmember Jeannie Cole-Wells, who has been a great partner. <laughs> So today, by establishing this Immigrant Refugee Commission, we acknowledge the circumstances and the state of King County today. And we acknowledge that the challenges uh, that are faced by our immigrant refugee community here are different and unique and require special attention and special support and special partnership. And I'm really looking forward to the work of the commission and partnering with it uh, to make sure that the policies of our government are responsive. And thank you so much for being here. It's now my pleasure to introduce uh, the chair of the King County Council, the council member from the Fighting 8th District, council member Joe McDermott. Give him a warm welcome. King County has long been a place where people have come from around the globe to give themselves opportunity and give their family opportunity as well. This growth has really shaped our region. Each new resident brings with them a new ideas, new perspectives that truly enrich our community. And our region has a history of welcoming and affirming these new residents, new people joining us. But we also can't forget that one of the most egregious actions taken by the federal government, the internment of people of Japanese ancestry began right here in our collective backyard. Sadly, efforts to tear our communities apart based on imaginary divisions are still present. Today, we are fighting against those voices and taking concrete action. The Immigrant and Refugee Commission is King County's commitment to working to serve all residents of our community. The commission will elevate the voices of these communities, voices that have too often been silenced or ignored, or more recently, we have seen far too many incidences of intimidation and bullying of these voices, much more insidious work, that we can, so that we can work collectively to address the priorities of the communities. These priorities, whether, they're, whether they are for jobs, for education, for quality health care are the same priorities that everyone else in King County holds. But we can't ignore the historic barriers that have purposely been put in front of these communities, which makes their work that much harder. That's why we started the work of the Immigrant and Refugee Task Force. And out of that task force, and as Councilmember Dombowski mentioned, hearing from the community themselves, today stand here signing and celebrating the creation of the Immigrant and Refugee Commission a permanent body to bring these voices to King County government and to our communities across the county to make sure that those voices st um, stand strong. And two of those voices that I'm pleased to be able to introduce today are Ab um, Ahmed Abdul and 
I'm Dinah Wilson. Please join me in welcoming them. Hello. In the spirit of the signing of the legislation and the work which we have done in the last few years, I would like to um, in, in, welcome you all in, in, to this event and also greet my native language, Subahwan Aksan, which basically means good morning. I am really excited to be part of this process. Uh, my name is Ahmed Abdullah Ali. I'm a pharmacist uh, by training. I'm also one of the task force members, originally from Somalia, where I grew up uh, and moved here in Seattle uh, about 20 years ago. I am also one of the founding members of uh, Somali Health Board, which is a nonprofit with ambitious goals of reducing health disparities that affect Somali community uh, in partnership with the health systems uh, in pu and public health as well. One of the most exciting things I've been involved the last few years is working along with very talented immigrant refugees to establish a task force that today shows the fruit uh, and establishing a commission. I would like to thank uh, special gratitude to our uh, elected officials, uh, County uh, Executive Dow Constantine, uh, <laughs> Council Members Dabanski, Larry Gossett, and McDermott. <laughs> We're truly excited uh, to have you as leaders and champions who continue to hear our voices and connect with our communities and fight uh, the right fight for our rights alongside our communities and activists and organizers. This could not be better time in looking at the political uh, debacle that's going on when it comes to immigrant refugees and therefore really excited to have leaders uh, within our community who are able to stand along our shoulders. This has been a long journey. We are so excited to be here at this final and the beginning step of the Immigrant Refugee Commission. With that, I would like to welcome my colleague, Dinah Wilson. Good morning, it's about afternoon now. Um, I'm Dinah Wilson and I work in the city of Kent and it's good to see people from Kent here today. Uh, so uh, one of the most rewarding uh, things that I do in the city is to engage with uh, people in our community. Uh, I find that so fulfilling and to try to put people at the center of what we do. And you know, we've, we've all been taught to do things in a very hierarchical way, but to put community at the center, that's, a, that's, that's the way that we really get things done and we're very proud that in forming uh, the task force and now the commission, we try to hear from the voices out there in the community. So we thank you for all for contri contributing to that. Um, I'm so proud of the commission because it represents uh, the best face of the county. And you know, it also is a model for uh, you know, what the nation can be when we're, 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 we're being the, our, greatest, our greatest in the world. And you know, instead of uh, hatred, it, it represents love. That's my, my view. And instead of uh, rejection, it represents acceptance. And instead of detention, it represents liberty. And so we, we're just so, re so rejoiced about that. And we thank our visionary leaders for, for doing this and, and really seeing that it's important for our, our county to continue to be a model. Martin Luther King County, that means something to us. So thank you for that. Now I'm going to say a little bit about our process for uh, selecting our commission. Uh, we already have a selection group in place. Uh, within the next one to two weeks, there will be uh, a process for applications to come in. Uh, we want to recruit widely. We want gender equity, uh, religious equity, uh, uh, economic equity. Uh, we want uh, people who are um, undocumented individuals to, to, to reach out and apply. So we, uh, we want people from all races, ethnicities. So, so this is very important for us. So we want to, we'll leave the, the process open uh, one to two months. And by June, we expect to have a recommendation for our uh, King County Council and for our executive. And then by 
July, we expect the commission to, to be in place. And so we anticipate that the first meeting will be in September. So um, that's the process. Stay connected to us, and we will stay connected to you. There will be websites, a, a website available for you to apply, and we'll get all the information out to our networks and, 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 and ask you to also share information to your networks because we really want to disseminate this information widely. Um, now, I think we're going to ready to go. sign the ordinance. We're gonna, gonna sign the ordinance, thing. yes. That was great. All right, folks, gather around. So uh, I and then the council members are going to sign the Immigrant and Refugee Commission into law. Here we go.